guys, I'm out on one of my epic walks again today and I wanted to talk to you about who I am. I realized I have not put out an introductory video yet and um, I figured it is about time I've done that considering I have a lot of people asking me who are you and why the hell are you doing uh, a trip like this. Um, as you all know, I am from Seattle, Washington and that's where the start point will begin for this uh, trip, uh, May 1st. I am 42 years old. Um, I'll be 43 May 19th, um, so I will be leaving just before my birthday. Um, I've lived in Seattle for over 10 years. Um, I have two boys, a 22 year old and an 18 year old. I come from a background of graphic design and private investigation. Yes, it sounds uh, kind of odd to have um, those two different types of backgrounds, but um, I changed from PI to graphic design several years ago. I did private investigation work for over to eight years. Um, I was a field agent, um, so that means basically that I sat around in a minivan all day long and uh, worked on insurance claims where people were doing things that they weren't supposed to be doing. So I was out there basically verifying their injuries um, via surveillance, um, and I was uh, pretty damn good at that. But after doing it for so many years, I decided that it was time for a change and I uh, decided to go to school for graphic design. I went to school for that for a couple of years. And from there, I sort of picked up uh, video um, work and also some print and some web design. And so taking all those pieces that I learned through that, um, I have since built all my website stuff, all my own graphics, everything you see, you know, it's basically it's a lot of hard work behind the scenes putting it all together. Last year I got laid off and um, having a little hard time trouble like many others in the, in the states trying to find a job. Um, it's a little bummed out. I was, you know, it gives you time to think about what you want out of life. And one of the things I've always wanted to do was uh, go see the World Cup. And being not be really feeling like I was in a position at that time to do it, you know, not having a job or not having any income coming in, and plus being a little uh, irritated about the whole situation, I said to myself, I should just walk through the World Cup and, you know, kind of screw what happens. I don't even care. Just take off out the door and uh, start hoofing it and then head south. And uh, it's crazy that idea sounds, uh, that idea spurred on to the next leg of, I should say, well, since I'm going to the World Cup, I should, you know, honor it by dribbling a soccer ball, which even makes the trip even more crazy. And, uh, and so, you know, of course I batted the idea around a little bit and thinking, oh, this is a lunacy idea. This is crazy. Who the hell would do that? Um, but I had a friend who I told the idea to, and she told me about uh, a company that makes an uh, indestructible soccer ball called a One Bowl Football, um, which I've had some other videos where I show the ball. And you can find many videos online with the ball and shows you its uh, indestructibility of powers. All these pieces started to just sort of come together in a way that it almost felt like, you know, like it felt natural. It felt like I was doing what I needed to be, I should be doing. That this was, this was my next leg in my life. Um, I really needed to, you know, break away um, from, I guess, realities, what we all have to deal with daily. And I just happened to be in a unique spot where I could do that, where I felt a lot of people around me um, that you know most people aren't in that position. Um, and so I, part of the trip was, you know, for myself, but also part of the trip was for all the people who can't do things like this. You know, they're they have the responsibilities of you know if you can't believe their job they've been with for ten plus years. They have mortgages. They have young children at home. All those things in my life are sort of already taken care of. I sold my house. My boys are you know, older now. Um, I just found myself, and plus being laid off, you know, I didn't have a job to like a career at the moment. I just found all the pieces seemed to fit and it just felt right that I should be planning this trip next. If you guys think that whatever I'm doing is pretty cool and you want to like sponsor me, I, I am definitely look for sponsors. And um, hey, tell a friend, tell everyone, uh, because I need as many people following me and backing me as I can possibly get. Because when you something like this, this big and this massive, um, the more resources I have, the help, the better. 
Um, if I'm gonna be in your country and near, you know passing near you, and you guys like have me crash in your couch for the night, that would be incredible. Also, just reach out. Uh, so I also have a PayPal on there. So if you guys want to help out and donate anything, um, that would be much appreciated. Buy me a beer for the trip. That would be cool. That'd be great. Um, or if you just want to make sure you just want to see me safely home.